And we're back. Okay, the next thing I want to show you guys <coughs> is uh, the photo editing thing that you can do in there. Um, so this is a really cool feature. Um, I remember when mom got her frame, you know, there was a whole bunch of problems with some of the pictures being uh, on their sides and stuff that I hadn't edited because I just didn't have the time. Um, that's because photo editing technically, or typically, is uh, kind of cumbersome. You have to go open each file and make a bunch of changes, save it and close it, and then go open another one, etc. So this nice thing about this is you can edit all these um, just kind of in real time, and it saves all of your edits, um, and you can just kind of edit them, and then you just quick save once, and you're done. Um, so And the tools are really, really nice to use. So say, for example, this one's on its side. So, so it's a quick fix. It just right click, rotate clockwise, and that's fixed. And what it does is it just saves. It says up here that I'll, I'll have some edits that I that I can fix. Um, we'll make a we'll make another edit here so that you can see that. So this one, I'll edit this one. We'll go into view and edit. And that pulls up this editing uh, dialog, and we have all of these uh, tools over here we can use. There's some tuning, <coughs> different effects you can do. So you want to make it blurry or something. You know, we don't want to do that. Um, these are the the basic ones. Um, so for example, this one looks like it was scanned. You can see there's a white line at the bottom, just barely. Um, and the colors are a little bit dull uh, just because of uh, the loss, the quality loss. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Crop. And I'm going to choose a crop option here. I want to keep the whole photo here. So that that's a suggested cropping. Uh, I don't want to do quite that much, so I'll move this around. Move it up here. And then I can preview it and make sure that that's, that looks better than what I had, and it does. I'll click Apply, and that saved that crop. Now if I didn't I change my mind, I can click Undo Crop, or Redo Crop. Um, now they also have the red eye to straighten, contrast and color uh, changes, uh, but the really nice one is... <coughs> Sorry this I'm, I'm feeling lucky button. I'm going to click on that and you'll notice all the colors became brighter, the light, the contrast, and uh, just enhanced the image, uh, fine-tuned everything. Um, now say I just did those two edits and I didn't want to do either of them, I could still undo all of them. Or I can redo them again. <clears throat> So that's that. I'm going to change this other one. Now th and this is a really nice thing. I I've actually edited this, this image about three or four times and saved it different times. Uh, I want to show you what, we, what you can do with this. So I'm going to do, I'm feeling lucky on this. Fix the coloring. Now up here it says that there's, I've changed two files. And this is where it saves all of the changes that I've made. So now that's saved. Now let's say, okay, you know, I saved that, but, you know, I really didn't want to change any of that. So I'll undo the save. Now I'm going to undo I'm Feeling Lucky. So even after you save it, you can still go back and fix it and change it back to its original uh, its original uh, values and stuff. So it's really cool. Um, anyway, if you redo it again, you'll have to save it again, but it's just a really nice feature. Okay, um, the last thing I wanted to show you is, and I don't know if you're gonna, if you would use this, but I use it all the time. It's called an RSS reader. It takes uh, different websites and such, and it just puts it into a nice kind of email format and tells you anytime there's a new one. For example, you look here, I have this folder of all the, all everybody's blogs. So anytime Aaron posts a blog, I don't have to go and check all the time to see if there's any new ones. This one just tells me if there's a new blog 
and there it is right there. I can read it here. And if I want to read it actually in her blog, I just click on the, on the title, and there it is. So that's an RSS reader. Now the reason I'm showing you this is <coughs> if you have your own Google account and you want to know if people are uploading to the Bur uh, Photos account, the Picasso Photos there, um, you can you can either up you can either uh, excuse me you can watch the different uh, albums here so I've already subscribed to a couple albums or you can subscribe to the account so here's these so that's it's it's basically just a, a feed reader it tells you anytime a change is made here it shows up on here so that I don't have to constantly be checking and seeing if there's new photos and stuff. So just kind of like a, an auto-notify, I guess you'd want to call it. So I just thought that was really cool. Um, I'm, I've been using it with the photo bucket account also. Here's our photo bucket account. So anytime people put new photos on there, it tells me automatically. So if you're interested um, and don't quite understand what I'm talking about, then just let me know. I'll I can help you out and kind of explain it a little better. Um, anyway, I guess that's about all I have. Um, go ahead and I guess just kind of, I guess, download the program, play with it. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, and uh, if you like it, hate it, whatever. Um, anyway, thanks.